In this video, we will see about full wave control rectifier. So, this single phase full wave control rectifier is of two types. One is the midpoint converter or center tap rectifier. The other one is a full bridge rectifier. In midpoint converter, there is a center tap secondary. That is the primary of the transformer is connected to the AC supply voltage whereas uh, the load is connected to the center point of the transformer secondary. So this is called center tapped transformer and it is a control rectifier so we will be using thyristor. So two thyristors are used to get a full wave output. So now you have to remember one thing is that a thyristor is a unidirectional device. So always current flows from anode to cathode. Similarly, in, th in this thyristor also current is flows from this point to this point. So current through the load will be always in the same direction. And this is the V0, uh, the voltage across the load. Now let us see the operation of the converter. So during positive half cycle, this is plus and this is minus. So this primary and this is the secondary of the transformer. So here voltage will be induced plus minus plus minus. So this thyristor T1 will be forward biased during the past half cycle. So when we apply a gate pulse, it starts conduction and carries the load current. So current flows on this. During negative half cycle, so this end is negative and this is positive. So here you will get negative, positive, negative and positive. Now you can see T2 will be forward passed and when you apply a gate pulse to T2, it starts conducting the load current. And you can see that in both the cases, positive and negative half cycle, current always flows from A to B. Here also current is from A to B. So current direction is unidirectional. We will see the output voltage waveform of the rectifier. So firing pulse for T1 is given at alpha. So it is here alpha. So T2 firing pulse should be pi plus alpha. That is uh, whatever angle you are giving here. Add 180 degree and give it for the second thyristor. Now it is a resistive load. So output voltage starts at alpha and it follows the supply voltage till pi. Because at pi it will get reverse biased and it gets turned off naturally, natural commutation occurs. Okay. So in one cycle we can see that you are getting two pulses. So this one you are getting due to T1 during positive half cycle and this pulse you are getting during negative half cycle due to T2 conduction. So two pulses are there. So we have to find the average voltage for this full cycle. So V average is equal to 1 by 2 pi. Limits are alpha and pi. And multiplying by 2 since you have two pulses into V0. So V0 is Vm sin omega t. So substitute that you will get Vm by pi into uh, 1 plus cos alpha. So next is midpoint converter with RL load. Whenever you have an L load, you have to remember two things. Inductor is an energy storing element. So whenever current passes through it, it stores some energy and the current through the inductance cannot become zero instantaneously. So what happens when this thyristor T1 conducts and carries the current the conductor current cannot become zero immediately. So T1 has to continue to conduct even after pi because it has to carry the inductor current as there is no alternate path. So this T1 will be turned off only when T2 starts conduction. 
so this is the output waveform so v not is the output waveform for this uh, converter so you are giving um, gate pulse alpha for t1 and for t2 it is alpha plus 180 degree so that is pi so for t1 you are giving pulse at alpha for t2 pi plus alpha so alpha to pi plus alpha voltage will be equal to the supply voltage and after that it will follow vbn because during negative half cycle it will follow the vbn till 2 pi plus alpha so now you can find that v naught has two pulses so this is one and this is two pulses are there in one cycle so let us calculate the average voltage so v average is equal to for two pulses so one and two multiply by two pul two limits are alpha to pi plus alpha so alpha to pi plus alpha limits so v naught is vm sin omega t so if you simplify you will get 2 vm by pi cos alpha so see here current is continuous so this is continuous current it never becomes zero then it is called a continuous current let us see the limitations of midpoint full wave control rectifier so this requires a center tap transformer which is difficult each half of the secondary is um, used only for one half cycle so they are underutilized transformer rating is double the load rating and the peak inverse voltage is 2 vm that is when the scr is reversed biased it is subjected to twice the peak voltage so bridge rectifier is always preferred in most of the applications so now let us see about this bridge rectifier single phase full bridge converter feeding r load we know single phase circuit you need two lines for phase and neutral similarly in single phase converter two legs are required so each leg consists of two tie resistors in series and this legs are connected in a bridge fashion so it should be connected in a bridge fashion and load is connected at the output side so in input side you should have a single phase ac supply connect the ac supply one end to each leg and make this dot to show that there is a connection here because here there is no connection so we are making a dot to show that here connections are there next numbering of devices is important because it is a uniform convention for load upper devices is normally uh, numbered with odd numbers t1 and t3 and lower devices are numbered with even numbers 4 and 2 why it is numbered 4 instead of 2 means always t1 and t2 will conduct or t3 and t4 will conduct so it will be easy to remember the sequence t1 t2 t3 t4 and at a so during positive half cycle this is positive this is negative so t1 will be forward biased because it is positive here and t2 will be forward biased so current flows through this way so t3 and t4 will be reverse biased so during positive half cycle t1 and t2 will conduct during negative half cycle this is minus and this is positive so this minus is connected to t4 and this plus is connected to the t3 so t3 and t4 will conduct in this case and you have to remember that current always flows from a to b in both the cases 
so this is the output voltage waveform of the full bridge converter so supply voltage so this is uh, firing pulse for t1 and t2 is given at alpha for t3 t4 give it as alpha plus 180 degree that is pi plus alpha so this is output voltage so this is similar to midpoint converter so if you find average voltage for this type of waveform you will get vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha the points to remember here are the midpoint converter uses a center of transformer which is difficult to get and moreover the transformer rating is double the load rating and the peak inverse voltage of the ser is twice the uh, peak voltage so the rating of the ser required is also high so full bridge rectifier is mostly preferred and it is to be remembered that the current through the ser flows in the same direction and not to cathode and at any instant in a bridge uh, rectifier only two ser's will conduct these are some of the references and if you like the video do subscribe to our channel thank you